to be exploring Miami and the Keys and we're starting off in Miami with the Miami vlog yeah and we're so excited to be able to explore Miami without COVID regulations yeah the last time we were here was in 2021 and it was uh, I think the first of March maybe the February uh, it was actually February yeah it was after my birthday so yeah it was definitely different here there were so many restrictions but now everything's open and active yes. and it's crazy we actually didn't know this but we actually booked during spring Miami break sounds. week so it <laughs> It is uh, very busy. They blocked off a lot of stuff to kind of keep everyone safe. So mm -hmm. still a crazy well, they time. They actually to be have here. a lot of regulations for spring break this year, which was interesting finding out and coming here. But it has not hasn't it, hindered we haven't, our trip at yeah, all. Yeah, we haven't seen any effects from it at <laughs> no, all. No, other than maybe like the lack of big crowds that you would expect, party yeah. crowds and stuff. Yeah, so that's sure. been really nice. Supposedly Miami spring break gets pretty wild, and we haven't seen yeah. any wild yet. Yeah, so, thankfully. So um, maybe it's helping out our trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, we're going to head into South Beach and check a few things out, and um, we'll show you guys what we get yeah. into. So we're gonna update you guys on what we got into last night. We're currently sitting at a really long stoplight. <laughs> yes, we're headed to dinner, but last night we loved our dinner and we gotta talk about it. We went to a place that we went on our last Miami trip, which was called... Bodega Taqueria y Tequila. <laughs> yes, and if you remember from the last Miami vlog, we were obsessed with their churros. Yeah. They were incredible and we didn't get to eat dinner there. So this time we went for dinner. Um, it was and incredible. So, so, so it was good. Taco Tuesday, so you could get four tacos for $11. And it's such a unique atmosphere. It's so beautiful. Such a really cool vibey spot. It kind of just gives off Miami vibes. Yes. We each got some tacos. I got an avocado taco. I got a carnitas taco. A, I the got, brisket? Yes, I got the brisket, brisket taco. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then Megan got the avocado taco. Yep. I just did one taco because we also did chips and queso and then I knew we were getting the churros after. Yep. Your girl doesn't eat big meals. So yep. um, it was perfect. It was a perfect amount of food. So good. And we got a frozen margarita. Yes. Also that. <laughs> yes. And that was so good too. Amazing. It was a strawberry margarita. That was so good. Yep. It was the perfect meal. Yeah. Highly recommend that spot if you're in Miami. It's a it's a cool little vibe. It's a, it's a cool spot. Supposedly they have a bunch throughout South Florida South area. Florida, yes. Another really cool thing about the place is that behind where we were sitting is like a porta potty door and yeah. there's a security guy and it's actually like a speakeasy club uh, behind like the door. It's like a secret club and man, that thing was bumping. It, it was, was crazy. so cool. The, the security guard was hyping it up to us while we were sitting there eating and so he like let us pop in and just hang out for a second and check it out and told us to come back. So we're definitely wanting to pop back in because it was super cool heck yeah that was awesome then this morning we took it easy and we went over to la social yes and la social is beautiful number one it's a really cool atmosphere and vibe very miami um and their food is incredible yeah, honestly, they also I have so many the options menu. yes they had wonderful coffee we got some lattes and then they also had great brunch options and yeah. we loved ours um so i got the king's breakfast and you got the chicken avocado wrap yes so mine came with eggs bacon pancakes and um a house salad and then his was the vegan chips and it came with a sriracha mango sauce yeah, is, how'd you like the sauce? You didn't oh my say. gosh, it was the best thing yeah, ever. Yeah, I, I bet. loved it so much. So we absolutely love that. And like I said, we just got some lattes and their lattes are huge. Yeah. So 
also keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, super happy with our choices so yeah, far. Yeah, we've loved it. The food has been on point, which yep. we honestly, I think we come to Miami for the food because we always I love know. it so much. Well, that's, that's what they're known for. They're known for really great food. So far, so good. We also are loving our stay. We will show you uh, a few clips of that because it's just so beautiful, yeah, especially around gorgeous. sunset. Yep. Um, super cool retro vibes. We are staying at the Gold Dust Hotel and it is absolutely beautiful. They have renovated an old motel and kept the like super retro vibe. So from the room to the pool, everything is super cool. to be bothered oh living life with no stress yes every minute's my best yes feel like i'm winning the lottery buying my mama a house is harder than and then in the next few days we're going to check out the restaurant there as well we're actually on our way to get dinner right now and um yeah we'll show you guys what else we get into yep see ya So we made it home from a night out. Yep, a great night out. The weather was amazing. Yes. It has honestly been so perfect, thankfully. Yes, the um, vibes were just amazing tonight. Yes, yeah, we went to Lincoln Avenue. Is that what Lincoln it's Road Mall. Lincoln Road Mall, okay. Um, and we did some shopping. Yes. Um, and also just some sightseeing and yeah. people watching. People watching and yeah. it was so beautiful. Honestly, I just love that little stroll so much. It is yeah. just so enjoyable. It's so unique. It's so like romantic kind of. Yes, like, it is. There's people playing their instruments and lots of they're, music. They're playing a lot of like sweet music. And mm -hmm. it was special tonight. They had a tango a free tango dance thing open yeah open dance so like they basically just had someone set up with the music and people yeah. were dancing and it was freely. going all night yeah and it was so cool it was so cool and like right in the middle so in the heart of it all and it was just so special and people were standing around and I watching that, yeah and then as you're walking there's just tons of string lights and it's just so beautiful yeah it was really cool yeah yeah but we just strolled around megan went into airy and got mm -hmm. her a little something in there and yep, I, I went a to little jacket i went to zara and i got me a little outfit yep yeah it's a great spot to walk around people watch there's a lot of really great restaurants and things like that it is in south beach close to everything there yeah just keep in mind that most of the places typically close around eight so if you're planning on shopping go a little early that way you can go before yeah. dinner they've got a really they've got a few really beautiful old theaters there the lincoln theater which is now an mm h&m -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> which is crazy <laughs> i know <laughs> and then what's the other one called colony the colony yeah that one's really beautiful too yeah super cool signs picturesque Miami mm -hmm. vibes. Yeah. Great spot for some photos. Yeah, um, definitely. We'll have to head back down there at some point probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the Colony I think is still an actual theater though. So that's really cool. You can go see plays and stuff there. We ended up getting some food down there. We went to Pizza Tua. Yeah, so a lot of the restaurants have like their little outdoor seating throughout the middle section of the mall. Um, and they have it all beautiful also, like all the table setups are really pretty. Mm -hmm. And so we were just popping down to see what each of them were. They have lots of Italian food. So yes. that's what we went with. <laughs> so Pizza Tua actually has five stars on Yelp out of yeah. like 500 reviews. And yeah, we pulled it up while we were trying to decide. Yeah. And so what did you get tonight? Um, I got the penne, it's vodka sauce and penne noodles. Yeah. I can't, I can't remember. It was what like it says the penne menu. vodka pasta or something like that. Our and audio. then I got something that I don't even remember the name. Do you remember, Meg? Yes, you got the cow de pepe or something. Yeah, cow yeah, something pepe. like that. I Basically, can't, I can't remember. For mine, it's really special because they mix it up and bring it out to you at the table. They mix it up next to your table, which is really cool. Yeah, and I've had it before at other restaurants, and I was surprised to get it because it's a cheesy meal. It and is it's very it's cheesy. Not big on the cheese. Yeah, honestly, I would have preferred Megan's, but I yeah. knew that she kind of wanted the other one too, so I wanted to 
to get it so we could have a little bit of both. But yeah, it is really cool because they do a table presentation. So basically they bring out the wheel of cheese and then they scoop or scrape your pasta through the cheese so yeah, that yeah. it gets the sauce all on it and then yeah. put it on your plate. So it's a really cool little experience. Too. Yeah, I loved it. That was awesome. I've never seen anything like that. So I had to yeah. sign up and do it. So. Yeah. It was cool. It's a classic. Loved mine. You loved yours too? Yes, I loved yeah, it. Yeah, it was great. It was really awesome. But yeah, tonight we just, after that, we just came back and um, came to the hotel mm -hmm. and we stopped in at Mad Radio, which is a yes. bar slash club that they have here. Mm -hmm. And it is really cool. We just hopped in just to check it out for a second. We're definitely going to have to go check it out and get we'll some drinks drink. and hang out yeah. there at some point. Yeah, definitely. Sure. It's really, really cool though. Yeah. The vibes are... Perfect. Yeah. So tomorrow we're going to head to the beach, I think. Yes. Get some sun. Get some sunshine in and have some beach time. We're really looking forward to I'm that. I'm excited about that. And I need possibly some... hang by the pool. Yeah. I need a little sun on my face, I think. Yeah. I think we both do. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll take you guys along tomorrow and we'll see you in the morning. Yeah. See you in the morning. New day here in Miami. Yes, day three here in Miami. <laughs> Earlier today, we woke up and had some brunch at Mad Records Cafe. Yes. And it was really good. It was super great. It was super cool. It's here on property. It's a part of our hotel and it is such a vibe. It is. It's like going back in time. It's a cool yeah. spot. Yeah, they I did a good it. job. The decoration is beautiful. The mm -hmm. food is really good. The food is great. I ended up getting a Nutella waffle. I think it's Nutella Berries waffle. Yeah. And then he and got, I got the Turkey Club sandwich. And um, we both came, got some lattes. Yep, and it came with a side of fries. We both got some some caramel lattes. Yep, yeah, it was really, really good. Yeah. The cafe is very beautiful. They've got a bunch of records everywhere and everything's music themed, so it's like really, yeah. really cool. Even the um, menu, you scan the QR code on a record, yeah. which is really cool. That was cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he came over and brought it. us a record and I was like, what's he doing? And it had the <laughs> drink menu and the food menu yeah, on one, it. Yeah, you flip it over just like you would to listen to music. One's the drink menu and one's the Yeah, um, that was food, awesome. So. so now we're actually going to head out towards the pool and get some shots, get some video and hang out out there. Yeah, we're gonna hang out by the pool. It's super fun. Um, they had yoga earlier, which yeah. is really cool. We're gonna try to jump in there one of these days uh, yeah. while we're here. And um, yeah, it's a super great pool. We're yeah. excited to show you it's guys. It's funny that there was a lot of people here today taking videos and photos and stuff that I guess they normally they have like shoots. a lot of photo sessions and videos which here. Which is actually how I saw it on Instagram, so. Yeah, and it, honestly, it's so perfect for it. The vibes it are just immaculate. Yeah, it's just got the perfect little picturesque vibes. For so. sure. Gotta get some sunscreen on. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna get ready and uh, head by the pool and we'll see you out there. Yep. So we made it down to the beach. Beach time! <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't go down to South Beach because it's really crazy down there because it's spring break. And we saw online that parking is somewhere around $100 for parking. So we instead came to North Beach, which was only 10, 15 minutes north of South Beach. And honestly, it's way more chill. Yeah, the water, it's beautiful. The water's yeah. still beautiful. You still have the beautiful lifeguard stands on both sides ever so often the so iconic miami yeah yeah stands. it's definitely way more chill and i parked at the public parking and it only cost me two dollars because i think it stops charging you after a certain time yeah that's what it seems like anyway. that's what it seems like, anyway. it seems like. <laughs> hopefully we're not towed when we get back <laughs> it's really cool down here earlier we uh, got some shots by the pool 
The pool, so beautiful. We got some really good shots, some good video and photos and stuff. Yeah. And we'll throw some of those in right here. We loved it so much. It's such a vibe and it was just so nice and hot today and just a great pool day. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, so we're gonna spend some time down here at the beach and uh, we'll show what we get into. just got in from a day out at Miami Beach. We actually really enjoyed it. We stayed on the North Beach side. It's so beautiful. It's definitely way more chill on the North Beach side. We actually Googled it and, and that's what it had said was that it was a little more chill vibe over there. And it was, it held true. So we ended up getting some photos next to the lifeguard stand because you got to do it. I'm going to throw some of those in right here. Yeah, the, the classic orange, green, and blue lifeguard stand. That is such a beautiful and cool, unique thing about Miami. Highly recommend at least going to the beach to see some of those because they're all so unique and cool. After we spent some time on the beach, we walked back to the car and decided on a place to eat. We settled on this pizza place called Blossom. A very unique experience. I've never been to a pizza place quite like that. You go down the line and you can have the staff cut your pizza and you can just get whatever size that you want. If you just want a little tiny sliver, if you want a really big piece, they have a bunch of unique options. So you could really just get small ones throughout and try a bunch of really cool ones um, all the way. We ended up getting a what, what all did we get, Meg? We got a spicy one. Meg's down there. She's a sleepy gal. <laughs> um, we got... Yeah, you got a spicy one. We got a zucchini pizza. Um, a four cheese pizza, I believe it was. Yeah, that was a goodie. And then um, pepperoni and whatever your spicy one was. And then I got like a spicy red tomato one, which was really good yeah but i really loved it i thought they were all really good the zucchini one i didn't love as much megan loved the zucchini I one did. i loved it i love zucchini though yeah i do too but honestly i just didn't like that pizza i really loved the four cheese one i loved the four cheese was that and the pepperoni was my favorite yeah i love the spicy one but i also just love spice it was just more tomatoey more saucy those pizzas weren't as saucy, but that one in particular was. So. I saw they also had like pasta and um, salads and stuff too. Yeah. It was a cool vibe though. The outside was beautiful. The inside was really cool mm -hmm. overall. Oh yeah, it was super cute. Highly recommend Very that cute spot. Little spot. Yeah, we loved it. Yeah, it was Great cool. Great experience to just happen upon. I know, loved so, it. So, yeah. But yeah, another pretty chill day. Um, tomorrow, we've got a lot in store to get into and we're excited about that. Gonna go explore Miami a bit more and- Things that we didn't get to do before. Yeah, so we're, we're excited really about excited that. about that. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. Hey guys, 
third full day here in Miami. Yes. We woke up and headed over to the design district, which is a really popular spot here in Miami. They've got all the high fashion stores and everything. All the designer stores are here. Balenciaga, Louis Gucci, Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. I don't even know all the names, honestly. Yeah, we don't shop designers. We don't know so that kind of stuff. Just to we don't know that and life. Look in the windows because yeah. it's not our vibe. Yeah, there's all these like really fancy cars and stuff like that, which has been kind of cool to see. Oh yeah, the whole area is super cool, and then they've also got a lot of like art installations yeah, throughout. Like this solo cup right um, here. Yeah. Um, so that's super cool, and it's just beautiful. So yeah. it's a nice place to walk around and people watch and do all the things. People so. watching for sure. Yeah, we um we actually first stopped at Pura Vida um, Miami which yep. is here at the design district as well yeah um, and it's like a breakfast spot brunch coffee acai bowl smoothies yeah all those things yeah it's very popular beautiful place it is so stunning it, it was so so pretty the ambiance and everything was just such a vibe yep. it was so nice loved it honestly would definitely go back i yes. loved my drink i got a banana yeah banana cold brew type yeah yeah thing. and it was so good i loved it so much and then i got their breakfast sandwich loved that as well and megan got a i got acai the, bowl. yeah pb lover uh so peanut butter lover um acai bowl and then i got a vanilla latte and i loved them both they were great yeah. Definitely. Not like the best one that I've had, but it was really good and fresh and yummy. In terms of acai, right? In terms of acai. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but it was such a pretty place and a great way to start your day. So. Yeah, they've got a lot of good options. Honestly, I would definitely go back there. Yeah, oh yeah. We're wrapping up here and we're going to head over to Wynwood. Yes, very excited about that. All right, we'll see you guys over there. Update on our day, we're down at Wynwood Walls. We actually just paid for admission here at Wynwood Walls. Yeah, which we're so excited to walk yeah. and see the murals. It's another thing we wanted to do last time and didn't yeah. get to do, so. Yeah, it's so cool, it's so beautiful. We've been down here at Wynwood for, since the last time we saw you, have been walking around, and honestly, it's just such a great spot to just walk around yes. and look at all the wall art and all the art on the street well, and everything like that. there's a lot like of culture that. and it's just really, really cool. Um, yeah. And honestly, like, education like there's a lot of cool stuff around yeah, here. Yeah, I love um, the bus. Museums and things like that. Um, and so it's just very, very artsy and fun. Yeah, I yeah. They have a graffiti museum. They have a hip hop museum. A bunch of really cool stuff. So yeah. um, earlier we went to the uh, Walt Grace. Walt uh, Grace vintage. vintage oh. And they have a bunch of old school cars and, and a bunch of really cool guitars. All and for sale. They're all for crazy. sale. Yeah. I honestly just thought it was like a museum to see all this really cool stuff, but it's all actually for sale, it's which is garage. awesome. Yeah. Pretty sick. Yeah. Then we actually were walking down the road and ran into a Joe's Pizza. Yes. Did not know that was here. And it's really cool. It's like a really pretty location. Yeah. And I, uh, like, which is so stark contrast to New York. And we walk by and they're doing Wordle, um, a Wordle challenge. Yeah. And you get a free cheese pizza if you guess the Wordle of the day. The thousandth Wordle ever. So I think yep. that's what it was, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. so Celebrating if you got, the If you got 1, the 1,000th thousand, one thousand Wordle, you got a free slice of pizza. Yeah. And we so got cool. it. We got it. We'll throw that clip in right here. <laughs> Got three of the letters in the right place, so. Okay, so next try is root. Nope. Did you look that up? No. Okay, so next word is erupt. Yeah. So yeah, James got it. I, yeah, I did get it. I might have not been super truthful about how I got you it. it up. 
I maybe did. I don't know. I was feeling the pressure, man. Okay. I was looking for like little hints, you know, and yeah. may well, have happened. I got us it. pretty far. Yeah, so you thanks did. for cheating. Yeah, I know. Wow. I had to be honest though to you guys. Um, but then we walked down and got some coffee at Sweet Habana Cafe. Yeah, which was really cool. It's an authentic Cuban um, coffee spot. Yeah. And we got to try their coffee, which was really strong, really good. Yes, it was. And honestly, the owners were there and they were so sweet. So nice. And they were kind of telling us about how they all got started. And she had uh, come over here when she was 20 years old and she wanted to create an authentic Cuban coffee shop. Yeah, because she said actually a lot of the Cuban places here in Miami are actually like Miami. Like Americanized, yeah. you know, which is more sugary it's and stuff. It's not authentic Cuban, especially like the coffee, uh, like she wanted to bring here. Right. So, which is really cool. Yeah, and so she's made this place that's like a like a coffee shop in a house almost because that's how they would have to do it back in Cuba uh, to uh, you know admire to all the rules and regulations that they had back there. So yeah, I so, thought that was really cool. Yeah, which I didn't know that they um, to sell something like that you can't have a retail space in Cuba. So you actually have to open it up in your home. Yeah. So you sell your coffee like out of your home or whatever your you know, craft is. But yeah, outside of that, we've just been walking around. We got a few photos. We'll throw those in right here. And we're gonna walk around Wynwood now and check it out. Check out the murals and all the art. And we'll show you what it looks like. So we just finished at Wynwood and we hopped over here at Little Havana and man this place is popping. It is so busy yes, isn't it Megan? and it's so cute. Yeah, the Wynwood walls Beautiful. were amazing weren't they? Oh yes, absolutely. That was pretty cool. That was worth it. It was only like 12 bucks so very cheap, very affordable. Yeah, it's small, like it doesn't take a long time to go through. Here, I'm trying to find um, the keys really quick to lock the door. Um, it doesn't take a long time to go through and so it's super fast and easy and just a fun little thing to like stroll through and take some really cool photos. They've got some beautiful murals. Um, so we really loved it. It was awesome. Uh, definitely worth the price in our opinion. And yeah, a great picturesque photo op spot. Yeah. And then after that we went and got some food. Yes. What was that place called? Tacombi? Yes. And it was so good, guys. I don't know if that's how you say it. That place was good. And it was, it was really so good beautiful. And it was super cool. The vibes were immaculate. It was just a really, really You're cool really spot. Using that word. Okay. To combi. So yeah, loved it. Highly recommend. Megan got a margarita. Yes. I, I got, got a margarita. I got some ceviche. It was happy uh, hours. I did so not get honest. ceviche. I got no. horchata. <laughs> I wasn't drinking ceviche. <laughs> I was drinking horchata and it was yeah, good. Yeah, horchata and then I got the margarita because it was happy hour yep. um, from four to seven. Yeah. And then I got the quesadilla and the black bean and sweet potato taco. Yep. And I got like a spicy brisket taco and the the pork tacos. Yeah. Um, carnitas. Yes. It was really good. Yeah, Loved it. Yeah, very, very good. And it was quick and just nice. We could sit outside, which it has a really pretty like yeah. patio spot. Great colors. Yeah. It was, it was a vibe. It was rated really high on Yelp and stuff, so that's why we tried it out, and it was worth it. Loved yeah. it. Oh, and it's also just like eye catching. As soon as we walked by yeah. it, we we're like, oh my gosh, what's this? It's place? just got like this retro so, vibe, and the colors are really nice. So yeah, loved very that. cool spot. I loved yeah. it. Yeah, but yeah, we got some photos at Wynwood. We're gonna throw them in right here. And yeah, now we're gonna explore a little Havana and we'll show you what we get into. Yeah, excited! So we made it home from a day out strolling around Miami. Man, we are tired. We put in a lot of steps today. I think Megan said we put on 16,000 steps. 13,000 steps. Let's see how accurate that is compared to my phone. 
Because Megan's can be a little wrong. I take Mine I says 14,000 steps. But yeah, we got after it today. We walked around a bunch. Little Havana was really cool. It was so beautiful. Loved all the music, all the lights. Just the vibes were really, really cool over there. There were people dancing in the street, dancing on the sidewalks. Uh, they had some really great musicians just jamming out really hard. Truly just a really cool spot. Highly recommend going over there if you have the chance. We did get to see Domino Park. We didn't get to see anyone playing dominoes. So I think if you go during the day, the park's open and there's usually a pretty good group in there playing dominoes. They did have a little street fair going on uh, while we were there. They were shutting down as we arrived, but I do think that's something that they do regularly on the weekends with people selling arts and crafts and things. They do have a really beautiful theater that most of the restaurants are open air, so you can see in there and it's all the vibes are really cool with the lighting and everything just being flowing inside and out. It's a, it's a great spot. So we ended the night at Azucar Ice Cream Company. And guys, that place was busy. It's a really, really popular spot. It's authentic Cuban ice cream. It, it didn't disappoint. We ended up getting the number one bestseller, Abuela Maria. And that has guava chunks. It has cream cheese and see Maria cookies all in one. It, the ice cream itself was more like a vanilla flavor and then it had all that stuff mixed in and it was amazing. Highly recommend going there to check it out. They had some unique flavors and things. Very, very busy though. So you might have to wait in a line a little bit before you get some. Um, but yeah, so that's it. We are now back at our place winding down. We are gonna probably hit the hay here and we'll see you guys in the morning. I had a really busy morning so far. We got up early, got ready, and we came down here to South Beach. And wouldn't you know it, parking is an absolute nightmare. It is crazy. We truly drove around for almost 45 minutes to an hour to find parking. The thing is, it's not very busy. It's actually so dead. There's like honestly not as many people here as you would think on a Saturday and in particular on spring break weekend and they've got every single parking deck every single parking opportunity pretty much closed outside of like a mile or further away from the beach. So we ended up having to park on the street about a mile away um, and then we actually took an Uber to our bikes. So we did end up renting some bikes and we rode around on the bikes on the boardwalk and around the Art Deco area and it was so beautiful. The, the vibes are just immaculate. It's so, so fun. We love it so much. And then we ended up getting some photos. So we set up some our, our tripod right in front of the Art Deco area and got some pictures and I'll throw those in here. And then yeah, we cruised around on the bike and um, just enjoyed our afternoon in that way. But since then, we actually went over to this sandwich shop called La Sandwichery. Very cool spot. It was very busy. They're, they had like 4.7 stars out of five and they had like 3,000 reviews. And there were people on there saying, I came here every day, this is the spot. So we ended up getting their tropical sandwich, which has tomatoes, mango, pineapple, cucumber. Uh, I'm still over here tearing mine apart. Meg's still eating hers. <laughs> You have to almost eat it like a salad. It's so big. Yeah, it is so big. It's honestly maybe too much bread. It's a little bit too bready, but um, all the stuff in it. It's so good. Yeah, it's a big sandwich. But yeah, it's really close. It was only a block up from the beach. So we walked up there, got that, and now we're here on the beach and we're chilling. Um, off of 14th Street, right? off, Yep, off of 14th Street. And uh, we're right in front of this beautiful light, light lifeguard station. 
Lifeguard stand? Lifeguard stand, station, whatever. It's a beautiful day. We've, we're going to spend a few hours out here and enjoy the, the beach and the sun. Uh, maybe get in the water a little bit because it looks like it's uh, very warm looking from here. Yeah. Also, I just realized you have sand on your face. I've got sand on my face, supposedly. Um, but yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little update of what we've been up to and we'll show what we get into. <laughs> up our beach day at Miami South Beach yep did you enjoy it Meg yes what a wonderful beach day it was beautiful today yeah it was, it so was. Great. it was so nice it was very beautiful yes um, and it's not too crazy it's been busy for sure it's a busier day it's Saturday but it didn't feel like what you would expect Saturday in Miami on spring break yeah I agree, yeah. It was actually pretty chill. Yeah. Very beautiful. The weather's been absolutely perfect. It's uh, mid-March now, so a very beautiful, perfect time to come. We'll say, yeah. you know, you just have to worry about all the traffic and parking situation. Yeah, I will say that it did make the beach very um, chill and all the stuff pretty chill. Yeah, it did. We haven't yeah. had to wait for pretty much anything. No, we've got like a 30 minute walk back to the car. Yeah. So those are the negatives. Yeah. Um, but I say worth it if it makes things a little more enjoyable and less crowded. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah. yeah, everything. I mean, even for dinner, we haven't had to wait at all. Yeah, yeah, true. We've jumped right in for true. every place that we've true, gone. True, true, yeah. So, been pretty yeah. nice in that sense, especially prime spring break. We got some photos down here. We're going to throw them in right here. And I guess we're gonna make the walk back. The sun is setting. We're gonna to try to get some videos of the sun setting over here on uh, the uh, Deco, the Art Deco uh, hotels and stuff. Yeah, hopefully we catch a little bit of a good sunset. I yeah. can see it peeking through, I but know. it's kind of cloudy. So. I know. Yeah, we'll show hopefully. you guys what we get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's our last day here in Miami. So last night, the last time that we saw you, we were leaving the beach, we were getting some shots down on the beach, and That's we right. actually walked on Ocean Avenue. And guys, that is why they had all the streets blocked off. Yes. It was insane. It was so insane. And the, the cops were literally everywhere, which like, had us on edge, but also made us feel safer. Yeah. I don't know, it, it was just- It made us feel safe just because you knew if something went wrong, there was literally I a- I mean, there was like a hundred plus A cops. cop per like, person almost, it yes, felt like. Yes, we were just also like, you know, should we be extra nervous about why we're here? Yeah, <laughs> like, I've never seen that many insane. cops in my life. They were on four-wheelers, they were in uh, Raptors, they were literally Bicycles. everywhere. Bicycles, yeah, like everywhere, on yeah. foot, like it was insane. Yep, um, it was crazy. This one guy like sped off and like made his car like make a noise. Literally yeah. like 10 cops started running after him, stopped him, pulled him over, then did a full car search. I was like, oh yeah. my gosh, this is crazy. Yes, and he was just like showing out out, but sped like right next to all the people so yeah. really dangerous but yeah it was busy yeah. but honestly 
really, it's so cool to walk on Ocean Drive and just see all the pretty Art Deco buildings and all yes. the lights. It it's so beautiful. 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 It is all so the worth it. Lights. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, so it, it definitely felt like spring break. A lot of people were like clubbing and partying yeah. and having fun right outside. Like it was insane. Yeah, yeah. It was insane. And we that's like it. not even the half of what it normally is. So. Yeah. Supposedly Super it's crazy. way crazier, but yeah, honestly, we felt safe though. There were definitely kids, like little oh, yeah, kids, still kids. older people, yeah. um, everyone just kind of walking around enjoying it, and it yeah. was really cool. Um, but yeah, after that, we ended up just driving back to our place. We ended up getting ready, and we actually went to eat at our motel. Yes, so they, um, as you saw the previous day, we had um, breakfast or brunch at Mad Records Cafe. And so we actually ended up having their dinner as well. And it's all connected. So there's the Mad Records Cafe and then the Mad Radio where they have the- um, Trying to get out of this harsh sun. I was like, why are we moving back? Basically, it was just like, it's all connected. So we were able to have dinner and then go downstairs and have drinks and in the little like club area where they've got the DJ. And yeah. so it's it's all just such a cool vibe and we got dinner there and it yes. was great. The Mad Wreckers Cafe, the vibes are just so cool. Yes. It's really cool for breakfast and brunch, but honestly at night it was really cool. They had all the lights turned down low. They had a DJ playing music. And yeah, in the restaurant part yeah, as well. It was so vibey, yes, I loved such it. Such a vibe, it was so good. I got coconut shrimp and that was amazing yep. and, and I ended up getting a cheeseburger it had a special name I can't remember the name Nemo. obviously but and it was amazing we got a couple of waters after that we actually went downstairs to the dive the bar yeah yep and it was sick yes it was so cool they had all the lights going it was so busy as well it, it was, was super packed so it was definitely like it's a spot to go um and it's hosted by mad radio so i think it's actually like a radio station yeah yeah they have it like next to us mm -hmm. um or next to the building and um and so they had the dj go and music playing and it was slammed in there yes. we went to the bar and grabbed a strawberry mojito which was really great so it was yeah. awesome. If you want a really unique experience and beautiful experience, definitely recommend the Selena Gold Dust. Absolutely. It is so cool. They've got really cool night night scene there, some brunch, dinner options, all the things that you could want and a really cool pool and hangout spot. Yeah, the whole place is just a vibe and it was really, really fun because they offer so many different things and accommodations. Yeah. Um, they've got co-working spaces. Like it, it is just really cool. They've thought of everything. Yeah, they really have. I loved it. I would definitely come back to stay again. It oh, is yeah. really sick. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we are actually about to go get some Pure Vita coffee. Mm -hmm. Again, we loved it so much. And uh, we're gonna Try step in. Try something different in the food. Yeah, we're gonna step in and check it out. We'll show what we get. Alright guys, so we've been on the road a little bit today and we've made it to our next stay. Joining Megan out here on the balcony of our beautiful stay. In the Florida Keys on Isla Morada. Isla Morada, yes. We're going to be spending the next few days enjoying the Keys, but just wanted to sign off on Miami. We had a great time in Miami. It was so fun. It was the best. Honestly, we did so many things we had been hoping to do in Miami after our first trip there. So we got to check a lot off the bucket list and explore new places and try new restaurants and places to go. So yeah. we hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. I know, it was so lively. It was so beautiful. We really loved it. And honestly, it's such a short trip from Atlanta. So. I love that we're able to hop on a plane and get down here pretty quick. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, cheap. It's so fast. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty awesome. Earlier today, we did an update. You went to Pura Vida again. Loved it so much. Yes. Yep. We got coffee. I got a vanilla latte. Hot this time. James got his banana cold brew. Yes, loved it. Um, and then I got the avocado toast, which I highly recommend. I loved their avocado toast. Yep. And I got a salmon salad, and I loved it. Oh, it's it's actually originally a bowl. 
with quinoa, but I subbed the quinoa with salad and loved it so much. It was great. Um, they have a bunch of the Pura Vida locations throughout Miami. So, um, you know, just look it up, see which one's closest to you. They're all so beautiful. This was a different one than the one that we went to originally. Mm -hmm. It was very beautiful. We loved it oh, so yeah. much. Yeah, so beautiful. Then we uh, drove out onto Biscayne Island, got a few shots of the car. Which is actually a really cool place. You got some beautiful views. There's people that are uh, parasailing. There's people that are yeah. sailing yeah. Um, and wind sailing, mm -hmm. wind surfing. That's yeah, what yeah, you call wind it. surfing. Um, which was really cool to see. Yeah. And people hanging out by the water. Fishing. There's the aquarium over there. And also, if you keep going, we stop short. But if you keep going, there's actually a really beautiful lighthouse also in a state park down at the end of that. Uh, island there, but very beautiful spot. It's just a really great shot to get some photos, enjoy, relax, have fun, all and the things. And just a nice place to cruise through. For sure. Yeah. It was very peaceful. We're going to be spending the next few days enjoying the Keys. Uh, we're going to get ready for the night. And um, thank you guys for watching Miami. Remember to like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, all the things. All the things. And stay tuned for the Key West Vlog. All right. See you soon. See ya.